Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be showing you the best strategy for Robo Rumble. And if you do it correctly, you can actually get max time every single match. It will definitely help you maximize rewards and for your overall progression. It's going to be great, and let's get right into it. So starting off with the best comp, we do have Jesse, Pam, and 8-Bit, as you can see by the gameplay, and the main reason for that is because they do have that triple turret protection, which is going to provide a lot of extra health, tanking, and just overall support. And the way that you'd want to place them is in a triangular pattern, which I will put on the uh, screen here. And that will also that will help you to maximize, once again, the body protection. And you can also stack up with... Uh, Stack up around it so you can protect every single side of the safe. That is extremely important. And do remember that because they're in a triangular position, you do have to keep them spread out. And another reason that this comp is so, so good is because it does have a ton of DPS, which you really want to do that. You really want to have that when you're taking out all the bots, boss and regular ones. And additionally, all the brawlers that are in this comp, they do have a lot of health. I think... Jesse does have a uh, slightly above average, if not more than average, and Pam and Ape definitely do have a lot of health, and Pam also gives uh, extra healing, and Ape gives the damage. So yeah, that they do help support the entire team, and if you're below 6k, and you don't have Pam or something, then you can swap out one of the brawlers with Frank, Bull, Primo, any other tank basically that's uh, really good, high in DPS and health. And keep in mind that the comp does work way, way, way better with power 10s. But, I mean, if you do this correctly and you play, you do all the things that we say in this video, you are going to be able to get max time every single match. And you are going to be able to maximize those rewards. But before we go over all the brawlers individually, let's just, like, let's look at some basic tips. <clears throat> so, the first basic tip I have is, obviously, play passive. You don't want to be going up and dying every single like minute because that is that's obviously going to leave your teammates in a horrible position to defend and the robots will be able to get some damage off of the safe. And another tur another tip is to take your zones. Don't have three people going in on the right side of the map. That is horrible. You don't want to be doing that because then once then all the other sides will be left out in the open and you won't be able to defend as well. And a little hidden tip, well not really hidden, but I see, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but the tip is that if you get your super early in the match, you might want to consider uh, letting the other teammates get their super once you have yours so that you can get it, wait, you can get it faster to take out that first boss a lot quicker. And let's see, and you also, obviously, if there are robots surrounding the safe, you are going to want to tank for it and take the damage because you can heal up but the, tur the safe cannot heal up. And another uh, tip we have is tank for each other when you're taking out the boss. Like You can see here just in this gameplay you can see that we are tanking for each other so that we can uh, protect our walls because another tip is that you don't want to have your walls broken so you do want to protect the walls and your safe from that boss so that it can't get close to your safe. And you can see, once again, we are in, we are taking our zones, like I just mentioned. You can see we're surrounding it, so whatever squirty bot or whatever you want to call them, range bot, if they do come, we can protect the safe from it. But yeah, that is going to be some really basic tips that I think most people should know, but a lot of people don't know it. But let's just head into the individual brawler uh, tips. And the first brawler we're going to be going over is uh, Jesse. And quick side note, if you haven't seen our Jesse guide, you're missing out. Like, there are great tips in that video, and I highly, highly recommend that you go ahead and watch that because it is very helpful. And it, I already have people telling me that that guide has helped them a ton. So yeah, make sure to go check that out. But all things aside, with Jesse, you do want to look for groups of uh, bots so that you can get the best value off. And just charge up your super, deal tons of damage, because alone Jessie doesn't do damage, but with her turret, she does do a lot of damage. And like your teammates, like everyone in this game, you do want to uh, be able to body block for your turret. And against bosses, this is really, really important. As you can see in this clip, uh, Kikak is going to be throwing his turret so that 
It's a good distance away so it doesn't get destroyed, but it is not too close that, and it, I mean, sorry, it is close enough so that it is going to be able to get a lot of value. And you might have noticed that uh, Kikak, our Jesse here, is using Energize. I mean, sorry, Shocky, because Energize, it's good, but I do think Shocky is a bit better. However, I do use both because they both do give max time. And honestly, it I mean, it's really up to you. I think they're both really great for this, and Shocky might provide slightly better results. But next up, we do have Pam, and she is the healer of the group, so she will provide that tankiness and all of the uh, health needed in this group. And let's see. And you do want to throw, once again, just like Jesse, you might want to throw your turret slightly to the side of a boss so that you can provide that healing to your teammates so that you can tank way better, way easier and be able to survive longer and get more DPS off. And I would say that uh, Mama Squeeze, it's okay, but I mean, I'm not sure. I haven't really tested Mama Squeeze, but from my experience, the hug, the hug star power is very good and it will definitely work and help you get max time. I think from, I've been told that they're both really good at, they can both give max time. So if you have either one, that is great. And yeah, that is going to be it for Pam. But let's look at 8-Bit, who I am playing in this clip. And as you can see, once again, I am just moving in a pattern so that I can block and really just provide my teammates with that damage. 8-Bit and Pam, they're really similar. You could practically just play 8-Bit like you'd play Pam, throw it to the side, provide damage. And I would say for his star power, you would probably want to use his first one, Boosted Booster, because it does give that extended range and you will be able to uh, help your teammates out a lot more. And with extra life, especially with this nerf, you do not want to be using that star power. So yeah, I do think that that is going to conclude this. But yeah, I would just say one other tip I would say is just like, look at this look at the gameplay throughout this video because throughout that last clip because you are going to be able to learn a lot from this gameplay you're going to be able to learn a lot from other people from youtube videos stuff like that and it's really from experience and positioning that you are going to be able to get max time so yeah that is basically i don't know that's basically it i mean you do also like i mentioned before you do want a good solid team who know how to use this comp so definitely if you're gonna be if you're gonna be trying to run this, you definitely want your teammates to know how to do this. I in the past I have had terrible experiences because they didn't know how to position your turret. But yeah, that is going to conclude this guide. And really quick, I just wanna mention a uh, a giveaway that I've actually uh, seen in a bit. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers give away friendly spots. Friend yeah, like spots in the friend list to uh, viewers. So I wanted to try that and I'm going to say that if you comment within the very first hour of our five videos, of our next five videos, you'll be entered in a giveaway to get on my friends list and that, and then you can just play with me, like, you'll be on my friend list. And if you're watching and you're already on my friend list, then this probably won't concern you. But if not, go ahead, comment down below within the first hour and we will enter you in a giveaway. And yeah, so... I would also re recommend that you put your tag in there so you won't have to re you won't have to respond to your own comment when I tell you that you are the winner. So that would be a lot more useful if you are able to do that. But anyways, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you'll be able to get some epic epic rewards. Once again, remember to look at the gameplay because there are a ton of examples from the text or from the tips that I just gave. But remember to comment, like subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video